Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have 7x to the power x equals 7 to the power 7 to the power 7. So we're also going to be looking at some numerical values, which is going to be pretty interesting. Now, in this problem, if you go ahead and distribute the x and write this as 7 to the power x times x to the power x equals 7 to the power 7 to the power 7, you're going to be in trouble. Why? Because this is probably not going to lead anywhere. Or if you do the following, raising both sides to the power 1 over x is going to give you almost nothing. All right, so we're, we have to do something else. And we've done similar problems before. I don't know if you recognize the pattern, but before we get into the solution, let's go ahead and take a look at some numerical values. So what does 7 to the power 7 to the power 7 look like? Do you think that's a very large number? How large is it? Is it bigger than a Google? Do you know what a Google is? Or do you know what a Google Plex is? Hopefully you do. If not, then you can definitely look it up. All right, great. So 7 to the power 7 to the power 7 is actually a very, very large number. It's about, it's about 3.8 times 10 to the power 695,974. Wow, that's a crazy number. Can you imagine this number has 695,975 digits? Think about it. That is just the number of digits that this number has. So it's a gigantic number. Wow. But why is it so large? Well, if you kind of look at 7 to the power 7, you should get an idea, which is obviously a lot smaller. And 7 to the power 7 is... 823,543. Um, close to a million, sort of, right? Close to a million, about uh, less than 10 to the power 6. And now when you raise 7 to that power, you're basically looking at 7 to the power 823,543. So think about writing the 7 that many times and multiply together. That's why our number is way too large. Anyways, enough to chit chat, let's go ahead and get to work. So, we have 7x to the power x, right? And on the right hand side, we have 7 to the power 7 to the power 7. Now let's go ahead and raise both sides to the seventh power. Now why are we doing it? Because it's gonna help us solve the problem, that's why. And there's a good reason why you would do that. When you raise both sides to the seventh power on the left hand side, the x is multiplied by seven. So you get seven x to the power seven times x, which is basically seven x, right? So you kind of get something nice in the form a to the power a or uh, y to the power y, whatever you want to call that, right? So obviously I would like to get something similar on the right hand side. Now what happens when I raise this gigantic number with 695,975 digits to the 7th power, obviously it's going to get larger, no, needless to say, and we can't even talk about the number of digits this number has, it can probably be calculated, but it's going to be super duper large. But when we do that, here's what happens, this exponent will be multiplied by this exponent, right? So. We're going to get something like this, 7 to the power, 7 to the 7th times 7. But that is the same as 7 to the power, 7 to the 8th power, because this basically means 7 to the 1st power, right? When you have no power, it means the 1st power, the number itself. But notice that this is not very helpful, right? This is not helpful. Too bad. Okay, so we got to do something better than this. Because look at the left hand side. I got something like y to the y, but I don't have a to the a on the right hand side. So how can I go from this to something that looks like a to the a? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write this, the right hand side, obviously the left hand, the left hand side is good. Now here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to take the 7 inside the parentheses. Make sense? Instead of multiplying and combining by this, we're going to put it inside because remember the rule, a to the power xy 
is a to the power x to the power y or a to the power y to the power x. So if you see that two exponents are being multiplied, then you can put any of them inside the parentheses because when you have the situation, the exponents are multiplied. So you can go back and forth. Make sense? So we're going to do this. We're going to write this as 7 to the power 7 to the power 7 to the power 7. So it's like 7 to the 7 to the 7 to the 7th, but with parentheses, right? And now this is nice because we got something like y to the y equals a to the a. Do you see what I see? Hopefully. So here's what we're going to do. Let's set 7 to the 7 equal to k. And this is going to give us something like 7x to the power 7x equals k to the power k. And that's kind of nice because this basically implies that 7x equals k. Obviously, you could always argue that there are uh, other solutions or not. Uh, that's another thing to think about. But for a number this large, you're probably not going to expect any solutions, right? Because if you remember the graph of x to the power x, it was like this, right? Let's think about it for a minute. The graph of x to the power x looks like this. And it obviously has, I think that's a 1 over e, right? Isn't it? This is probably 1 over e, something like that. And this would be 1, comma 1. So as you can see, our graph is actually decreasing on an interval and then increasing on another interval. So it's not always increasing or not always decreasing. Therefore, uh, some horizontal lines are actually going to intersect this graph more than once. So if you, for example, consider a line that goes in between here, then obviously you're going to have two solutions. And we looked at these kinds of problems before. If I can find the links, I'm going to share, uh, share these with you. Okay? So hopefully you can um, look at the other videos too. But anyways, so my point is, at this level, because our numbers are so large, like look at the k value, right? Our numbers are so large, so we're going to have a single solution. Make sense? So from here we got 7x equals k, but what is k? k is 7 to the 7th, so if you go ahead and follow up on this, 7x equals k, which is 7 to the 7th power. Finally, we're going to divide both sides by 7, and that's going to give us x equals 7 to the power 6. Great. Now, what is the value of that? Now, think about 7 to the 7th power. How large was that? It was something like 800,000. So this is probably going to be 100,000 something, right? Don't you think, if you estimate it? And the exact value of 7 to the 6th power is going to be 117,649. So that's going to be the answer. That's why I can't really show you this point on the graph because that's going to be way, way too large. And to be able to get there on Desmos, you're probably going to have to zoom out um, 100,000 times. Anyways, <laughs> this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.